Alright, what's up guys? It's Topsy again, and we're back with more Dragon Age Inquisition. We're gonna wrap a few things up that we didn't take care of last session while we were here in Skyhold, and then we'll be moving on with the game. So we spent pretty much a whole half a session running around here in Skyhold, so it's time for us to kind of move on. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. All right, that's another step in one of our cool missions. No, oh, apparently we gotta go find coal. I didn't know we had to go do that. Where's the rep's Oh, there he is. <clears throat> Listening. You okay, buddy? <clears throat> I forgot that we have to like right after we get here, or right after we get him. Fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool like Aunt Eloise's pond. Lips scalded as I sip. Warmth blossoms. First kiss in the barn. What was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills. Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry. Five more minutes. My fault. It is so hard having a meaningful conversation with Cole because he talks in such a chaotic way. Can you listen through anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. Who don't most people feel those like almost all the time? Why? Why is it so selective? Can you do something for her? Yes. There he goes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. Well, that sounds what? wrong. Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. Feels kind of rough. <laughs> you gotta like cause a little bit of trauma and then try over again. All right, Cole. What, what, what'd you do? Make her forget me. Then do it again the right way. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault, so there's a reason, and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. And that helped her? I'll, I'll take your word that it helped Cole. I'm not so certain on that one myself. <laughs> She doesn't blame herself anymore? Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her, closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. I mean, I thought we established that you are not a person. You are a... You are a something. You're a spirit. Your Let's see if we go back in the kitchen. We'll get the end of the dialogue for that, uh... For this. When I find oh. out who's been throwing fresh bread up on the battlements, there'll be consequences. Mark my words. Strange. Yesterday I thought I saw someone taking a loaf, but I, well, I can't quite recall. Okay, I didn't mean to hear that one yet. I, I think we're supposed to hold off on, on talking about that one, because if we do that, it, it ruins things. Your worship. Let's see, where do I got to go to hear 
the rest of the other ones. Confused, that is what I am. I don't, I can't remember where you go to hear them all because there's, there's I think there's four or five of them. And each one's a little bit di Oh, there you are. Did you need something? Apparently not. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Kind of hoping we could smash, but I guess I could wait a bit. The hell are you guys? These are like, 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 really weird creative characters. Anyways, while we're looking around trying to find this shit out, um, hey guys, Topsy here, and it is currently 12.36 a.m., so right back around our usual recording time, and we are trying to figure out where we hear the coal stuff at. Lord knows I am confused on that front. Thought they would be a little bit easier to find. I guess not. Hmm. You guys need to talk more about stuff that, that matters to me. Oh, uh, well, we'll try talking to him about some of it up here and then we'll see what we can accomplish. We'll make good use of it. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the doors. Some doors should stay shut. I'd like to talk about what happened. Yeah, we did talk to Cole last time, so we gotta talk to him now. You, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. What was the spire like when the Mage Rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging. I think this stuff is discussed in one of the books, or one of the comics. I'm not sure which one, or graphic novels, I guess. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know it's in one of them. But she helped Reese help the others. Set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. What can you tell me about Reese? He was a mage. He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. I could try finding your friends for you. I mean, I would that not be helpful for you? To locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Let him forget. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? I, I think he meant he killed mages. <laughs> Could that not be any more black and white? Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop, made me understand. There were a 
other way to help you. I didn't know. You made a mistake. Your murderer, you set them free. He made a mistake. It sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. I mean, clearly he doesn't really know what he is or what he's doing anyways. Or the, a lot about what he's doing anyways, so. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. What can you tell me about Adam and Fortress? It is old, full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. Keep that in mind, Cole. Keep it in mind. We found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and seeds. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold, corrupt. So I came and killed him. If you hated Seeker Lambert, So you're the one that killed the previous Lord Seeker? And that's why we got Lucius now? That's, that's, that's kind of on you now, Cole. Kind of on you, because Lucius sucks. <laughs> I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? The left hand remembers a knife slipped to her in the darkness and wonders why the flower blooms. Okay, well, that's clearly about Liliana. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. That was Wynn, from Origins. <laughs> What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or... Dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people, like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Okay, how do they feel? Because I'm sure you'd be able to let me be able to, uh, you know, enlighten me on that. They've been changed, and their bodies are incomplete now. The lyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. Yeah, what about, yeah, what about these guys? Can you tell me more about them? I'll talk to you later. Probably. He teaches them to fight with a secret flaw, part of a glorious strategy. That is a Jade Empire or Jade Empire reference. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start. Help me understand you. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something. Food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack, fix it, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. Because they got their own issues, I'm sure. Their eyes. 
wide stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to hear, makes me a person, calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. The spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow sorrows. What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, pulled. Blood that is not blood, a tiny trace of time. Lips struggling to shape language. It's, a, a, it's a Dalish, talking about the Dalish right there. The weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. You are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. It must be sad feeling everyone's pain all the time. I don't think he sees it that way. I don't think he processes emotions the way most people would. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? I'll talk to you later. Because you feel others' pain, I mean. He hunts the killer, but he's the one who killed her. He can't remember. I don't remember what that's a reference to. I, I know what it is, but I don't remember. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. I've heard about some oddities here in the Keep. Was that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? Uh... Burn turnips? Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Let's talk about something else. All right. The servants are having trouble remembering some odd events. Cheese and mint. Have I stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. Do mice also like bowls of crushed mint? That was for the cats. And you make the cats play. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint. Mint makes the cats dance and play. What, what kind of mint is this? It's not catnip, is it? Or are we not using catnip for, for cooking, are we? Yeah, we gotta find out more about these his oddities before we can get to the bottom of them. I don't remember where we go to hear them, too. That's the issue. Like, I think... I want to think we hear one of them down here, because that's where all the people are. I think one of, about, one of them's about someone dying. But no one here wants to talk. The soldiers make me nervous. Sitting around here, tempers get short, and fighting. I saw one soldier reach for his belt like he was going to draw a dagger on the man he was arguing with. I was lucky he'd lost his dagger, or there'd have been more than a bloody nose. Okay, well there's one of them right there. That <laughs> finishes that one up. I just need to figure out where the rest... I, okay, the last one for the for the cheese and mint is in the kitchen, because we need to hear the, the uh, workers talk about how the chef has been nice lately. Talk, goddamn you! You were dead to me. Is the issue that I gotta reload the reload skyhold? Is that how we do it? Just so it knows that I'm trying. Anyone out here want to do some talking? Be much appreciated. No? Okay. Well, we gotta go talk to, uh... Talk to, um... Josephine. 
constant inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The Court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Okay, well, we'll, 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 we'll do the important part. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Oh, I don't have anything to wear. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, Inquisitor. Well, we just so happen to have a have a chair with the Inquisition logo on it. Where did we get that at? I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. Well, they'll have to be forgiving, because, you know, we kind of just moved in. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe here. If they don't, I can't blame them. And, wait, you don't feel safe? Do you not feel safe here? I've had difficulty forgetting Corypheus' attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. Well, it haunt me. I'm told about it as well. We'll get rid we'll, 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 of yeah. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, but before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. Uh, no need to be all business. We can, you know, just sit and talk. Just because I'm inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor, especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage as Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? So he says. Claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. So to you, the Maker of this world. Magic not holy. Well, I mean, he's... The Maker hasn't shown himself for some time. Yeah, I mean, he could... It... There's no reason he'd start now. They say God works in strange ways, right? Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. It looks strange, but it hasn't done me harm. If it did come from Corypheus, that's a small mercy. What? I can't talk? What? Alright, then be that way. We gotta load the war table. Come on now. Don't make this. Just, don't make this too difficult for me. Just load in. It's not even that much to load in here. Just load in the, the small room and the guys. Thank you.
right, uh, Shadow of the Redentor room. Okay, now we can keep it going with Sutherland. No, oh, I didn't need that, but okay. Let us begin. Uh, we need to hold off on. We need to hold off on that one for a bit. Or do we? Inquisitor. We'll bring them in. But we not need to wait for it. Dorian's request. Okay, uh... Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine. Okay, more of that. More for Haven. I think I can send a few non temporal source grades. Yeah, we'll see that one. Inquisitor. how we get I forget her name this is Dagna we met her in the first game in Origins 2 kill that mastery yep that one another amulet power for Varric Okay, I think that's, yeah, because if you're not careful, you'll end up getting the clan killed, and we gotta keep them alive for, uh, you know, the best ending, so, you know, we're doing our best here. At your service. We'll do this, the Haven ruins in a moment, I need to... Hold off on that one for a minute, too. Related to Darien. Do I have the one already? I can't remember. Okay, yeah, best to get the hunter fell. No, let's have Lilian do that one, she would know. <laughs> Oh fuck, okay, well that one comes back later. Yep, here we are. Okay, them. Yep, have have her go do it. Sarah stuff. Off you go, Colin. Mm -hmm. 